Since the historical adventures began here on the channel SAR Histories, we have visited many places, including over 50 churches. Here is our top 5. To start the list at number 5, the Church of the Holy Cross, Islam. The church can trace its origins back to the Saxon period and is situated beside Island Hall in the Peak District. Being in the Peak District, the church is surrounded by stunning scenery and has a countryside feel to it. The church has a long and intriguing history and many monuments and can even boast having the tomb of St Bertram. Though only small, the Church of the Holy Cross has a lot to offer and is a joy to visit. For that reason, it's a solid 5 on our list. Moving up the list to the number 4 spot is St Mary's Church, Tutbury. St Mary's Church was built in 1089 by Henry de Ferrers to serve his castle beside it. The church can boast as having one of only a few Norman arches in the country. The graveyard is not as well looked after like the church, but inside is a joy to look around and you could gain a lot of information about the church's history. With St Mary's having such a long history, the church has seen many historical figures worship here while staying at the castle. For this reason, St Mary's at Tutbury is number 4 on our list. Number 3 on our list, St Peter's Church, Alton. St Peter's Church at Alton may be a small church, but it has a lot of history. Its core can be traced back to the 12th century. Inside, old plaster work can be seen, which gives the church a unique character. But what really interested me at St Peter's was the churchyard, where there are many old graves dating from the early 1700s. For this reason, St Peter's is number 3 on our list. Coming in on the number 2 spot on our list is St Wystan's Church, Repton. St Wystan's has a long history with its core dating back to the Saxon period. The church is majestic both inside and out. With a keen eye, you can see the different building periods in the stonework. The church has been visited for hundreds of years, evident by the carvings in this effigy. But what makes St Wystan's truly unique is the Saxon crypt, which is the burial place of two Mercian kings. The graveyard can also boast some unique headstones and is the resting place of the cricketer C.B. Fry. At the top of our list in that number one spot is St. Oswald's Church, Ashbourne. St. Oswald's Church can trace its origins back to the Doomsday Book of 1086 and its architecture is truly stunning. But it is on the inside where St Oswald's captures your intrigue, as it houses many artefacts and tombs. What can be seen at St Oswald's is truly amazing. Its elegance is unmatched by any that I have visited, and at times the church feels more like a museum. It's possible to spend a lot of time at St Oswald's, exploring and taking in the surroundings. That is why it is at number one on our list. So that was our top five churches. 
If you disagree with our list, drop your favourites in the comments below. And for those asking, we plan on visiting more churches this year, so subscribe if you don't want to miss out.